Howdy folks, Martin here, and I've just watched something really cool, something that I will, will like to highly, highly recommend if I can use the right words and say that I would like to recommend it, that I will like to recommend. That's the plan. And it's, I can't even remember how it came up. I generally can't even remember how I found it, but it's very, very cool surrounding mental health, but more specifically men's mental health because when it comes to men we know that men struggle opening up face to face with other men we know that's a problem we know that's a danger there's this idea a lot of kind of therapists talk about this and, and how uh, men and women relate to each other that women will relate face to face where men will relate side by side it's that idea of sitting side by side with your buddy watching a game so often we don't look at each other's eyes and express and be vulnerable about what might be going on, socialized differently that way. But there are certain circumstances where, where, where this, this dynamic changes and going to the barbers can be one of them. Now, I've never had that relationship with a barber personally, but I've had a few good chats with barbers in the past for sure. And there's something about them when it's when it's kind of a male specific barbers that it can create this idea of community and they, they call it kind of community support or peer support um, and peer therapy. And the idea that, you know, barbers just, you know, they, they open up conversation all day, every day. And if they're doing their job particularly well, they're coercing information out of their customer. They're getting them talking. They're giving them an amazing experience beyond just the shave or whatever it is. So I heard about this guy called Tom Chapman and um, the Lions Barber Collective and a charity that he started. And now he lost a good friend of his potentially one of his best friends to suicide and he had no idea absolutely no idea and all of the kind of guilt and shame that came with it that he wasn't able to do anything for his friend and so he set up this charity called the 1.7 million pound haircut and it's because what is it? I think it's, I can't remember the stati statistics offhand, but men commit, well, people commit suicide at a frightening regularity here in the UK with men meet, uh, occupying 75% of those statistics. And when you think about when, uh, when a person decides to take their own life, it's not a case of that the, there's all of the humanity costs but you can actually put a financial figure to it because in terms of um like the calling out of police the investigations that go into it the looking into kind of how it happened you know what what are the dangers is it you know you actually have to do an investigation and all of the resources associated with one life being lost comes to around about 1.7 million pounds in costs that go out to do all of this this work when someone decides to take life so his idea is a preventative one to to give barbers the ability to see and to educate danger areas right to be able to kind of like coach and and and, and stop it at source those, those opportunities where they can convince men to be vulnerable and spot those danger signs those warning signs that something might happen to, to preempt that one haircut 1.7 million pounds can you imagine that anyway this um is a brilliant documentary it's about 45 minutes long and it's proper proper good if you've got amazon prime i believe it's for i believe it's completely for free i watched it for free today i've got prime so i'm assuming it's the same uh, I will link in the description below. I strongly, strongly recommend it. It is quality. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye.